What's up guys, it's Billy from Steel City Collectibles back with another insider tip. Most trading cards are two and a half inches wide by three and a half inches tall. The thing that varies the most between trading cards is how thick the trading cards are. It's important to know how thick your trading card is before you purchase your trading card storage supplies or display supplies. There are different kinds of storage and display options for collectors, including top loaders, which are rigid plastic holders that allow you to insert or remove the trading card from the top. Magnetic one touches, which are two pieces of plastic that hold the trading card in place using a small magnet at the top. Screw downs, which are basically the same things as magnetic one touches, except they use a screw instead of the magnet, and the good old fashioned binder sleeves. All of these storage devices use a standard measurement to determine the thickness of a trading card so you as a collector know before you buy whether a card will fit or not. The thickness of a trading card or the gauge of a trading card is measured in points. 1000 points is equal to 1 inch or 25.4 millimeters. Most normal trading cards, such as base cards, fall anywhere between 25 points and 35 points, while memorabilia cards can begin around 55 points and can go up all the way over 300 or 400 points depending on what kind of memorabilia the card has inside. Finding the gauge of your trading card is super easy as Steel City Collectibles offers a free, downloadable and printable trading card gauge right on our website. Simply download the gauge from our supplies page, print it out on any normal printer, and you can begin using it right away. Hold your trading card perpendicularly to the paper so you can see exactly how thick your trading card is using our card gauge. If you're stuck between two sizes and you aren't sure, say, if your card is 120 points or 130 points, it's always better to round up. Trying to fit your trading card into too small of a top loader or magnetic may hurt the trading card. Many websites like Steel City Collectibles offer many storage and display options, including regular size trading cards, top loaders and one touches for memorabilia cards, booklet cards, box toppers, and so much more. It's always important to know and double check the thickness of the card you want to put in a top loader or magnetic before you make your purchase as even if you already have multiple versions of the same card, the thickness can vary even between the same cards in the same set, just depending on how they were manufactured. That'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook for even more great content. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and visit our website 24-7 to access free hobby resources like our trading card frequently asked questions, our online help center, our online rookie database. We have so many different resources that you can use 24 seven to find out the information you're looking for. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.